I just wanted to say you're not alone. From time to time, people feel the boredoms of Minecraft. But it seems we still can't shake the charm of punching trees and parkouring cows, and then later on, even dying to lava. Yet, Minecraft is a customizable experience, so why not make the progress just a little more interesting? Wait, hold up, only three of them? Yeah, I couldn't really find any reliable data packs, it seems. It seems like a lot of them are broken. But, you know, I searched for a good hour and I found three that I really liked. Something kind of in its favor though, three data packs doesn't stray too far away from the vanilla gameplay, so the experience is tweaked, but not too much. There's no reason at all that I'm showing off this castle, but let's get to the first data pack. And for our first data pack, Mo Enchants. Oh boy, butchered that one. Mo Enchantments. Makes me sound super ghetto, because everyone has to use Mo instead of more. This applies a bunch of different enchants into your game. Uh, kind of cool. A bunch of those are actually just effects that you can get in the game. But then some are kind of different, like attraction, uh, depending on its tier, will attract items from a certain distance. Speed, it's a default effect, it's kind of neat. Uh, but to get these books and these custom enchants, uh, we need to just throw a book onto the enchantment table along with the lapis and that transforms into a new enchanted book. And of course, it's a custom enchant illumination which I believe provides you lights off a certain gear. And you can also apply this to armor and stuff if you were to grab some boots for example. Uh, let's see if we can find a jump boost one. I jump, we can place this onto the anvil with a pair of boots. We have enchanted boots. Let's see if they actually give us the effect or not. So I should have some on. Let's try this one. Uh, got a little bit of jump boost. It's kind of cool. It is very possible to farm this. On the data pack page, he even shows a design that you can use to automate this process. So you don't have to manually do this all the time. All this stuff auto smelts. It's so overpowered, but I kind of like it. It's, it's a neat way to play Minecraft if you just want to kind of skip that grindiness. Uh, I didn't spend a level 1 just to get all this gear. I mean, I just dumped the books and lapis onto an enchantment table. Uh, it's a definitely a different way to play, and if you were to limit to what enchants you use, uh, it could be a more satisfying experience. But I don't really feel like Battle on Mobs, I was just going to see about the auto smelting. Uh, the night vision is very nice. The speed is super nice. I think it's like speed 4. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just flying through here, gathering materials. Oh, I think it's set in stone. If you want to feel like a god, this data pack is for you, but I think I'm done with it. I want to move on. Data pack number two. Now, this one doesn't add to items or anything of that nature, but it is quite deadly sometimes. I mean, as you can see, we have nice clear skies in the desert, but that's soon about to change. And oh boy, how unfortunate for us. And the data pack would like to greet you. It says hello from Desert Sandstorm. Now this is a pretty interesting data pack. I'm in my nice cozy home, everything's safe. But let's say that I had dropped your valuable on the way home and I went to search for it. It is storming right now, you can't really tell. Oh. <laughs> We're under weather thunder right now. It's really loud, it's extremely dangerous. So, you're not going to be able to see mobs spawn, even during the daytime, since, you know, they'll spawn during thunderstorms. This is an extremely deadly data pack to add, but it really adds dynamic in the desert. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to survive, because I keep running into cactus, creepers, other mobs. And when you're at the edge of the desert, it doesn't make much of a deal. Once you're in the desert, it happens again, but it kind of slowly fades away. I, I love it. I think this is a really fun one, just adds a little bit more challenge to your Minecraft world. And I think it's important to mention if it's raining rather than thunderstorming, you just get a nice little sandstorm that you can actually see in, you can walk to. I found my house, yay! And then once you get inside, with no access to the sky, then that goes away. But I'm pretty sure, yeah. So even if there is an opening in your house, then you're going to still see those particles coming through. Last but not least, the third data pack, Miss Marvel's Recipe. And this is really fun. This is really cool. Made a little bakery, you know, for us to view all the stuff. And Ultra Gas is here. Uh, not really. This is fake. It's, it's the fake one. 
Uh, but this adds in a bunch of food recipes and different items to play with. Uh, we've got like salmon piece, baked carrots, bread slice, whatever this is. I guess it's sushi or something similar. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Ham. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff along with that. It's just so comprehensive. I didn't really lay it all out. Uh, but other things like Asian rice is added. So if you walk over this, you should get some seeds. Uh, there we go. May have had to right click it. I'm not absolutely sure. Uh, but this is like part of the recipes that go with all the different things that come with it. You get like a knife. And I think this is extremely satisfying. So if you got a knife out of here, uh, and then you got like maybe some steak or raw beef. Uh, you can throw it onto the chopping block right here. Uh, then you actually have to hit it with the knife to slice it. And it's really neat. It's really satisfying. Uh, and there we are. We have our minced meat, which we can use in this. The good old marble table, or you can use the marble oven. So you can cook like carrots. Uh, that's one example I had over here. Uh, we had the baked carrot. So we can go back to the furnace here. The oven, I mean. Uh, let's put in the good old carrots and it shows our progress. Very neat interface using like cake as a texture. That's kind of neat. And there's our big carrot. I really need to eat anyways. This is the whole reason I came to the bakery. Uh, let's grab this because I think this was a little bit more difficult to create. Uh, let me go in here. Let's eat it see how much hunger it replenishes. Ah, three. Not bad. See, it's kind of balanced. I like that. And it's something to play with. Uh, let's see, where is the, yeah, there it is, the marble table. I was kind of hoping that we could do like a little recipe real quick, but I don't have any kelp, so just give me a second. 100% legit, I ran all the way to the ocean to grab this kelp. I didn't go into creative mode. If I do say so myself, this is a huge sushi roll. You can have it, ultra gas, take it. Yeah, now eat up. <laughs> and this is the only recipe I know how to craft in this data pack. It's so cool, it's just like everything's so fluid and it's like, it's a really hard thing to know when it comes to data packs because it utilizes vanilla mechanics to make these things. Ah, it's so nice. And I think my favorite part is the chopping block. I mean, you even got some salmon there for my little farm down here. Uh, kind of a fancy bakery. Uh, they have the fish tank right in the ground. So we can cut up the salmon too. I, I love that sound. I love the feel of hitting mobs. And oh, look. We got some more lunch on the way. And that's about all I got to show, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. Maybe some of these data packs might come in handy in the future. You can find all of them in the description, links to the separate ones that I had shown. Hope you have fun with them, but I think it's time for lunch. Like a boss.